Granoff Chapter 9 Business Type Funds Overview Our Coverage Reasons that governments and not-for-profits engage in business type activities Differences between proprietary and governmental activities Proprietary funds, reasons for use To account for governmental entities ongoing, continuing operations and activities To enhance management of activities in which goods or services are provided on a cost reimbursement basis, a user charge basis. To compare benefits and cost of the business type activities of a government. To facilitate comparisons with private enterprises. Two types of proprietary funds. Enterprise provides services to the general public. Internal service funds provide services to other government departments. As you can see, the examples for internal service funds are both predominantly benefiting governmental units rather than the general public. They have internal users. The enterprise funds have external users. Accounting characteristics of proprietary funds GASB Statement Number 20 states funds are said to be non-expendable or revolving, a continuation of activities. Focus on determining operating net income, changes in net assets, or cost recovery. Full accrual basis. Measurement focus on all economic resources is consistent with GASB. Recognize revenues as earned and expenses as incurred. Full accrual. Balance sheet recognition to both capital assets and long-term debt. Required financial statements for proprietary funds, similar to those for a for-profit entity. The statement of net position, the balance sheet. We've covered this before. Assets minus liabilities equal net position. The three categories of net position, Net investment in capital assets, restricted net position, unrestricted net position. Second required statement, the statement of revenues, expenses, and changes in fund net position. This reconciles the beginning and ending net assets. And the third required statement, statement of cash flows, prepared in conformity with GASB standards rather than FASB standards. The statement of cash flows includes cash and cash equivalents. Proprietary funds, the accounting equation. We just looked at this. Assets minus liabilities equal net position. And as we saw earlier, the net position is divided into three categories. Unrestricted, restricted, and net investment in capital assets. This is the same classification of net assets that is required under GASB Statement 34, the government-wide reporting. Restricted assets. The definition, these are assets whose use is restricted by contractual agreement or legal agreements. Examples, customer deposits of utilities, assets set aside for repayment of revenue bond principal, reserves for the maintenance of plant, and funding of depreciation. Ideally, liabilities to be paid from restricted assets should re be reported separately from liabilities to be repaid from unrestricted assets. Net assets restricted should be reported in the equity section of the statement of net position. And here's some information on the statement of cash flows. I'll let you read through this slide. 